Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to continue working on the base here. So as you can see, off camera, I got all of the uh, storage moved over from, well, most of the storage moved over from there. We still have to do the food and stuff, but we're going to do that in this episode with the kitchen. I also made three more, I think, of the iron uh, storage chest, two or three more. Uh, from what I had before. And um, so this is not necessarily the final configuration for everything. Uh, so, um, yeah, if we look in here, uh, this is mechanical stuff. So basically anything having to do with motors or mechanical cars, vehicles, um, fuel for now at least, it goes in there. Uh, these are general parts, stuff that we would get, you know, from wrenching cars and, and other parts that we need to craft other things. And, um, and, you know, keep in mind, some of this stuff is crossover too. So it's just kind of my way of organizing things. This is building materials and miscellaneous items in this chest here. This is wood items. So wood products, wood items. These are raw resources, um, in here. Okay. Um, this is, this bin here is probably going to change um later on uh, so clothing and farming is currently in here along with uh cash and research data but a lot of this stuff i'm going to move later on once i get you know more things set up so that's that's kind of a temporary bin at the moment uh this is ores and metals okay so pretty self-explanatory there and this is stone items. So anything related to stone, which includes sand, concrete, stone, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Uh, so that sets that up. And again, these storage chests are designed to be near the, the crafting stations that will use those items. Uh, over here, I have chem materials. These are the steel chests with more storage because we tend to have more, uh, you know, need more space for this stuff. That does not go there, actually. Um, so yeah, just any kind of chemical type of or substance, which includes, you know, med medicine, it includes gunpowder, explosives, that kind of thing. Um, this is ultimately going to be chemical products. So this is in products. So this will be medicines that we make, um, explosives, most likely that sort of thing. Uh, all of this ammo that's currently in here, however, is going to be moved to the armory once we get the armory set up. So, th so again, that's just kind of a temporary holding area. Now, one thing I want to do, though, is I want to, uh, oh, and you can see that I, I decided to put four lights in here. Um, it is, well, it's it's not nighttime yet. If I turn my light off, so I'm turning my light off, so you can see it's very bright in here. I actually had, uh, no, I guess it was, we have six lights in here. Uh, I had more than that, but it was like super, super bright. So I toned it down a little bit. And interestingly enough, too, I actually had a whole bunch more lanterns. I just had them in the wrong case. So we didn't really need to go looking for them in the last episode, even though that was kind of fun to do. Uh, and I put a, a lantern kind of down in this hallway, too, because that light's not very bright. Everything in this chest is the, my normal inventory stuff. I just moved that out of the way so I had enough room to uh, move other things. Excellent. Okay, so... um. I'm trying to think. Oh, I know what I was going to do. So I would, I, what we're going to do too is we're going to put a chest in the center of the room and, and we're going to call that the distribution chest Um, because I can't reach from here and then transfer stuff, say like over to there with this setup. Um, yeah, that's about as close as I can get to that. So we're going to need a chest up on the ceiling as well. And that chest does not necessarily need to be a huge expensive chest either. So let's look in miscellaneous items. And we have, we have like this reinforced chest here. So can we put this thing on the ceiling? Um, oh, it's going to float. Eh, I don't like that idea. Or no, it's not. No, we just need to do it on on face. Uh, on face. There we go. Okay, so 
the thing is, is I don't, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this in in such a way to where we can reach it from everywhere. We might have to put in more than one. So let's set that one there. Um, so we can reach it all the way from there, but we can't quite get to that chest. You know, if we did put a big one in and turned it long ways, maybe we would be able to do that. Because from here I can reach... Ooh. Okay. Having these up high like this, you got to really be close to them to reach them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should put a big chest up there. Just because this has such a small hitbox area. Yeah, I can't reach any of those. I can't reach any of those. I have to be standing here to get to those. And I can reach that, but I probably couldn't reach it if it was further. Oh, actually, maybe I could. Here, let's try something. Let's pick that back up and let's put it over here. Okay, so I can reach the chest standing right there. And I can reach all three of these chests from here. Okay, now if I'm over here. Okay, I can reach it from there. If I get a little closer, so I can also get to those two, can I still get to that? I can. Um, all right. What about... Can't quite reach that chest. The other challenge, though, we're going to have is then getting all the way over to here. So we might... Uh, I don't have another one of those chests, do I? I don't think so. Well, actually, I do. Keep in mind, once we get our elevator system set up, we're not going to need these chests in the hallway. Well, I'll probably actually keep them there still. Uh, okay, so for now... Then let's just do this. This this can can and probably will change. Uh, but let's just grab one of these leather chests. And do an on face. And let's see. We're going to need... How close do I have to be to there to reach that? Okay. I can reach it from there. <coughs> Excuse me. So I can get to all three of those. So if this is there, I can reach this. Yeah, so I can reach that and I can reach that. And so what we'll, we'll probably have to do in this case, if I had to move a bunch of material, you know, this is super heavy stuff that I can't carry and walk over there, obviously, right? Um, we could get into there, put them in there, and then jump over to here, put them in there, put them in there, and then like that. Okay. I don't know if you guys re watched my first season of Undead Legacy, but when I set my final base up there, I did something similar. However, I actually had put those chests in the floor instead of in the ceiling. Um, but I think I'd rather have them in the ceiling. And again, I might upgrade these to nicer chests later on, um, but I just want things to be functional for the time being. Okay, good. So that takes care of that. Now, it is time... Uh, for us to work on the kitchen area. And also, where is my... Um, this has tools, mods, and weapons in it, but the weapons, of course, will be remo uh, will be moved to the armory when the time comes. Let's grab... Uh, general parts is where the paint should be. Yes, we don't have a lot of paint. We are really low on paint. Uh, at the moment so let's do and, and i move I, I don't know if you guys remember these were down a block but i decided to to move them up a block so everything's just kind of all along the ceiling up out of the way and things are nice and tidy all right now for here i think we're just going to keep all of this as it is okay let's do a texture pick here Oh, shit. I forgot to upgrade those. Eh, man. Okay, you know what? Um, I'm just going to leave them that way for now. I'll fix it later. Or how much paint do I have left? 
60s. Yeah, let's let's fix it. Let's fix it. Okay, so we need to get some wood. And unfortunately, we're going to lose our paint. But it is what it is. Those are already upgraded. That needs to be upgraded. Okay. Yeah, I want to get them upgraded because otherwise I might accidentally pick them up when I don't mean to later on. And not that that's a huge deal either, but you know what I'm saying. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. Texture pick this. Put these back to this uh, white looking texture here. Um, we could actually do this for here. Sure. Why not? In fact, let's just do it all the way down because then it matches. At least to there. I like it. Okay, so yeah, it is nighttime. It's not full full dark yet, but as you can see, it is very bright in here. So we got tons of lights. Looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. Okay, guys, kitchen time. So let's take a look for, well, I, you know what the first thing I want to do is I want to see if, is there any way to get these lights in here actually working? Um, is it just a simple matter of them needing electricity? The downside to that though, is then we're going to have ugly wires, um, you know, hooking stuff up. I'm not a fan. Let's try something. Let's go into here and let's open up the creative menu. And I want to see, I think, did we already look at this? I want to see, okay. So we have lights here, but are they working lights is the question. A sconce light. Um, Those might look kind of nice in the kitchen. These might look nice too. Silver glass light. Silver dome light. I don't know if these work or not. Or if you can make them work. Let's just put one here. Uh, on face. Why isn't that doing on face? Uh, oh, does it, it, can it only go on the wall? No, but when I put it up on the seat, oh, I see what's going on. That's like a, oh, okay. I thought that was like a whole dome thing. All right. So let's put that there. Is this something we can hook a wire up to? You know what? I don't think that's going to be, yeah, that's not going to be bright enough because I put that light in here. Just here, I'll even show you if you're curious. See, that's not a whole lot of light there. It's fine for a hallway, but not, not for a kitchen where we're going to be crafting stuff and want stuff to stay nice and bright. Well, okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use... Uh, whoopsie. I'm just going to use the lanterns for now anyway, just so we have light to work with. And we could explore possibly some wired lighting later on. But before we, I just want to look at something here. So can I, uh, we're going to need some wire too. Can I even hook a wire up to this? I can. Okay. So that means that we can actually, we can't hook a wire up to that or that though. It would be really neat if we could get these lights to work because I like the, the look of them. Um, all right. Let me go grab a couple of tools that we want to keep with us. And like I said, the thing that I'm, the other thing I'm concerned about though, is if we do electric lighting, it's the wiring. It could be tricky to make it look good uh, because we have to get from the generator, which is behind this wall all the way over. 
And at some point, that wiring is going to be visible unless we cover it up with blocks. Yeah, right, so let's get rid of that. Um, okay, let's just take another peek in the creative menu for a minute. Um, silver dome line, I think. I think that's um, maybe what's up there now. It's a little bit larger. What about those recessed lights? Can we... Yeah, here we go. This is what's up there. Okay. So if I put this in place, can I wire to it? I can. Okay. Just for shits and giggles... I want to see how bright that light is. So let's grab a couple um, insulators. Is, wait, are those the same as relays? No, insulators are parts for crafting here. We can just use a, uh, one of these. I'm not even worried how this looks at the moment. I just want to test all of this stuff that I'm... Pulling out of the creative menu, we will, um, oh, no, 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 that's not what I want. I want this. Why isn't that? Okay. I was going to say, how come that's not connecting to that? Yeah. Anything we pull out of the creative menu... We'll rebuild it for reals if we decide to use it. Um, or if we can't build it, we will... Um, we'll pay for it in an estimated amount of materials. Yeah, see, that that's going to be the problem, though, guys. Getting the wiring... We only have one block between us and... The ceiling. You know, that's that could be a good argument for a drop ceiling, though. Something to think about. Okay, well, anyway, let's power this up. I just want to see, like I said, um, how bright that light actually is. Uh, do we have to turn it on? Yeah. Turn on. It's not working at all. Oh, duh. That's because we have these things. So start time. Uh, that is midnight. There we go. It just turned on now. I wouldn't actually... I probably wouldn't use these timed relays. Oh, that doesn't give any light at all, man. I mean... Okay, shoot. Yeah, that's a that's a freaking joke. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, here. Let's um This this might answer our question uh, or 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 decide for us, I guess is what I'm trying to say, whether we use these lights at all. Let's try this one. Oops. Okay, so my light's off. I mean, that's still not even close to enough light to light up this kitchen the way we would want it to. Um. All right, we're running out of options here. What about... That's going to be the same thing, the brass dome light. I don't want industrial-looking stuff in the kitchen. We have a fluorescent light we could try. Uh, wait, what just happened? Oh, the timers went out. This is better if we had several of them connected. 
You know, a drop ceiling's not going to really work very well for us because the problem with a drop ceiling is it's still going to take up either the the attic block space or the block space beneath it, and we're not going to be able to attach anything to it regardless. Uh, we could run wires through it, but we won't be able to attach any lights to it. So if we put a lot of these in, these could work. Uh, let's just try a total of four. Okay, so that lights things up in here pretty good, actually. We would just, like I said, again, have to figure out how to handle the wiring so the wires aren't peeking through. And the more I think about it, maybe we would want to keep the keep them on uh, electric timer relay so that way they turn off during the daytime. Um. Okay, so I'm going to ask your guys' opinion. If we can set this up in such a way that we could hide the wiring, you know, uh, or at least make the wiring look halfway decent, do you like this lighting here in the kitchen? Or do you like this lighting? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily keep those positioned there. I think the fluorescent lights would look better if we could get them wired in such a way. Um, there is one other possibility too. Anyway, well, here, before we mess around with other stuff, just let me know in the comments if you like, the, if we should use lanterns in here or if we should use the fluorescent lights, okay? That's really what it boils down to. I'm going to leave the lanterns in here for now. I want to try one other thing. Let's break this off, because obviously we can't get this to work. Um. Okay, that's not in the creative menu anyways, is it? Those little drop-down thingies? Classic street light. There's that fluorescent light too, but that's more of a shop light kind of thing. We don't want that in the kitchen. So if we grab, go back to these. Can I attach this to there? Oh, I can. Um, okay. Is there a way to make a, one of those metal bars? So probably if it's con concrete. And then we go into this menu and we go to pulls. Uh, 0 0.025, we probably want the 0 0.5. Okay, and then probably this one here. There we go. Okay, and then we can just upgrade that to metal or paint it or whatever. Now, if we take this light and put it there, it's not exactly the same thing, but it's the same kind of idea. That would seem to suggest there's got to be a piece that does that, though. Uh, yeah. One of these. Okay. Um... This one. Okay. And then let's go back into creative menu and grab the silver dome light. And then we can put that there. Okay, so we're back in business now in terms of recreating that. And then what we could do is... I'm... What we would have... Okay, so that looks kind of neat, actually. I like that. We wouldn't necessarily do this for the for its lighting as we would for its decoration to recreate these little drop lights over the counter, which look really cool. Um, and, you know, it would add a little bit more light to the room, too. 
The thing is, though, if we do this, what we would want to do is we'd want to see if we can run the wiring from the roof. Now, that, that presents a new problem for us, though, and that is that I have plans for the roof, like big-ass farm and helicopter landing pad plans. So we can't necessarily have a bunch of wiring going around on the roof if we're going to do that unless we raise the roof up which I'm not planning on doing at this point because it's going to be a shit ton of work. Um, but what I'm thinking here is... Uh, that can... Yeah, I mean, whatever. It's, it's already set up. Um... Oh, I can, I can just barely get to it. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go here. Well, we got to reattach this one. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so the only way we're going to be able to make this look good is we're going to have to come straight down from the ceiling to wire these guys up. And if we do that, we could also set up the fluorescent lighting um, and get those wired in the same manner. If we do that, though, um, without giving this a little more thought, that would mean... That would mean... Well, okay, it means a couple things. This building could stay here. And we do all the wiring inside the building, which we could probably get away with. Because it's more or less over the kitchen. Um, let's go back to here. So one, two, three, four blocks that way. Is the, well, yeah, we probably wouldn't go all the way up against the wall. So as long as we can go three blocks that way. And three blocks that way. So one, two, three that way. One, two. And that might be a tricky if we wanted to go a total of three blocks that way. Unless we just make sure that it's two blocks that way. So we could keep this building here and... We, you know what we could actually do? We could bring the genie up here and this could be like the power room. Rather than put it in the stair in the in the elevator shaft, that would give it a, a good reason to be here. Um, and then we wouldn't have to futz with any of, of this flat area up here because we need it for the farm. I don't relish the idea of putting a whole nother platform up here just to hide wiring. It's going to be a lot of work and take a lot of resources. Probably all of this crap is going to come out, you know, over here and somewhere on this end of the building will be like our, our landing pad. And then this area will probably be like the farm. Okay, well, that has possibilities. Now that you guys know that I can probably make the wiring work from up here, moving the generator and all that up here, um, still, let me know in the comments. Do you still think I should just use the lanterns? Um, or should we try and get the fluorescent lights hooked up in there uh, and you and also you know make these drop lights work? And because I think the drop lights look really neat um, if we, you know, if we do that. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. But, guys, we are out of time. Uh, the time just flew by in this episode. It feels like we just started. But, yeah, we, we are uh, definitely out of time in this episode. So we're going to pick right up where we left off in the next episode. We're going to keep working on, you know, getting the kitchen actually finally set up. And then move into the bathroom and then move into here. Whether we do all of those as back-to-back -back episodes versus, uh, you know, splitting it up, it just kind of depends upon how things go. Uh, I don't want to do a bunch of back-to-back -back building episodes, but uh, I think for the next episode, I want to keep moving on this. So we'll, we'll at least do one more episode before we split it off and go, you know, uh, do a couple other things. Anyway, that's where we are leaving off. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.